Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of the series How to Root Any Android Phone. And in this particular video, I will show you the most simple way to install ADB and Fastboot on your Windows or Mac machine. First, I will show you how to install this on Windows, but if you are a Mac user, you can skip to the Mac part from the description. And if you are using a Windows machine, then make sure that you have installed all the necessary USB drivers for your phone. If you haven't installed any USB drivers, then you can download the USB drivers from the link in the description and install them. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to download the minimal ADB and fastboot from the link in the description. You can either download the setup or download the portable version. I will download the portable version. After you have downloaded the portable zip file, extract the zip file on your desktop. Or if you have downloaded the setup file, then run the setup and it should be installed on your C drive. To use the minimal ADB and fastboot, just open open the cmd here file as an administrator and if you have installed it using the setup then just open it with the desktop shortcut as an administrator as well now you can just type any adb or fastboot command here and it should work for mac users open your terminal and first run this command to install brew on your mac if you haven't already then simply run this command to install adb and fastboot and then enter your password and it should be installed in a minute. Now you can run any ADB and fastboot command using your terminal. Now I'm going to tell you some basic ADB and fastboot commands that can be very useful for you. So first, let's see some ADB commands. But before you proceed, make sure that you have enabled USB debugging on your phone and when you connect your phone to your computer, make sure to allow USB debugging authorization. So the first command is ADB devices. This will list all the devices that are connected in ADB mode to your computer next command is adb push path of the file on your computer and path of the destination on your phone this will push the file from your computer to your phone next command is adb pull path of the file on your phone and path of the destination on your computer this will pull any file from your phone to your pc as you can see the files are reflecting on the right side of the screen next command is adb install dash r and path of the apk file this will install the apk to your phone in this case it's new pipe app next command is adb reboot this will reboot your phone next command is adb reboot bootloader this will reboot your phone into bootloader mode Our next command is adb reboot recovery this will reboot your phone into recovery mode now next command is adb sideload and the path of the file on your pc now this will flash any zip file from your pc to your phone and make sure that you have enabled adb sideload in the recovery from settings in this case we are flashing magisk to root our phone using sideload now next command is adb shell this will take us to the shell on our phone means we can browse the files on our phone like this and as you can see that we have moved this apk file to our phone before to exit from shell make sure that you type exit now we will reboot our phone into bootloader mode to see some fastboot commands a fast command is fastboot devices this will list all the devices that are connected in fastboot mode to your pc now next command is fastboot unlock it doesn't work for most of the phones out there, but it basically unlocks the bootloader of your phone. Next command is fastboot OEM device info. This will give you the basic device info of your phone, like if your device is unlocked and etc. The info depends on the phone that you're using. The next command is fastboot OEM unlock. This also unlocks the bootloader of your phone, but it also depends on the type of phone you're using. This command works for OnePlus phones. Next command is fastboot boot recovery.img. This will boot your phone into the recovery image that you have used. Next command is fastboot flash recovery recovery.img. This will flash a recovery to your phone but make sure that you type the correct name of the recovery image file. Now, next command is fastboot reboot recovery. This will reboot your phone into recovery mode. Next command is fastboot reboot. This will simply reboot your phone. So that's it guys. I hope this video was really useful. And if you want to continue watching this series, then the next video you will watch is on how to unlock the bootloader and install TWRP 
for your specific phones. Please check the first video for more info or also check the description of this video for the links. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it did, then give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. I will see you in the next one.